I think every wardrobe could use a gorgeous artsy denim vest. They're so versatile and they're great statement pieces. That's what we're doing today. Thank you for joining me. I am making mine out of an old jean jacket that I thrifted. It's American Eagle, size large, but fits more like a medium. Let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do is cut the sleeves off and there's a shoulder seam here. I'm cutting on this side, not this side of the seam. Now I want to cut the collar off. I'm going to maintain this seam, so I'm going to cut on the collar side right above this seam. Now I'm going to crop it a little bit and cut this band off and I'm going to cut right above that seam right there. Now I want to cut these two front pockets off. I already did this one. Now I'm going to distress a little bit right here and right here. And I have a cutting board. I just keep this in my sewing room for these projects. And I have a slice brand box cutter. Any box cutter will do, but I'll put the link to these things in my description. And all I do is I just start kind of slicing up that edge. Okay, that's what that looks like. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Now we can start decorating it. The first thing I want to do is I have a seam here that makes sort of a square. I want to add a piece of cute fabric in there. Okay, I recently thrifted at Goodwill these pillow covers. I have a bunch more than this. I got them for $1.99 a piece and they're embroidered and they're so cute. So I'm going to use one of those on the back. And I took one kind of sideways here and I tea stained it and it shrunk a little bit in the dryer, but that's okay. Um, I have a video on how to tea stain. If you're interested, I'll put the link down in my description. Now I'm just going to open up my vest so that I can see the back here. And then I'm going to take a piece of paper. Mine is packing paper I get at Walmart, but a thin piece of like wrapping paper would do too. And I am just laying that over top of this insert. Now, on the inside of these seams, I am just going to take my fingernail and just sort of follow that around and make a crease so that I know the shape of this. Now on that crease, I don't know how well you can see that, I am just going to cut out my shape. Now I have my pattern to trace and cut the piece of fabric that I want and I want the bird and so I'll just place this where I want it and I'm going to take a piece of Taylor's chalk and you can use whatever writing utensil you want and I'm going to trace around it then cut it out now I'm just going to take my piece of fabric Lay it inside those seams and pin it down. Now it's time to sew. I'm going to take it to my machine with a gold colored thread and my largest zigzag stitch. I'm just going to sew along the edge, staying as close to the edge as I can. Okay, 
How cute is that? <laughs> okay, on the same day that I thrifted these pillow covers, I also thrifted this fabulous, huge piece of tulle with rose appliques. Now, I'm going to cut out three of those appliques and I'm going to put them right across here. Okay, I have the roses laid out where I want them and now I'm just going to pin them on. Now I'm going to go to my machine and with a fairly small straight stitch using red thread, I am going to go around all of the leaves and petals and things of the applique. Okay, so now on both sides of this fabric, I have another set of seams and I want to make another pattern to fit inside those seams. So I'll do it exactly like I did this one. Okay, I only had to make one because when I go to this side, all I have to do is flip this over. Now I'm going to use sort of this seafoam green piece of lace doily for those inserts. And this one I'm going to do a little bit different, I think. I'm going to lay the pattern down and I think I'm going to pin it in three areas and just cut around it. This would be pretty hard to trace. Now once I have this one done, I'm going to flip my pattern over and cut out another one for the opposite side. Now I am just laying these lace pieces in those seams and I'm going to pin it down real good. I'm gonna, going to take one of my um, old cutting mats, just slide it in there that way I can pin it easily without catching the opposite side. Now I have everything pinned. I am going to go around the edges with my largest zigzag stitch using gold thread, gold colored thread, not metallic. And that gold is the color of the stitching that the original vest is made of. That's why I like to use that. All right, I'll get these sewn on. Lace is done. Now the last thing I want to do on the back is add a butterfly right here and a butterfly right here. And what I have now, this is a bathroom set. It's a shower curtain, two little mats that have been all cut up. <laughs> I've used this on a few projects now. I had two little mats, a toilet cover, and I have been cutting butterflies off here and there for different projects. I'll try to find that link. I bought this quite a while ago and it was pretty affordable. Um, this is what I'm going to use for the butterflies. Okay, I have one pinned kind of sitting on that flower there. And then I have one pinned right here. I'm just going to my machine I'm going to use a small straight stitch, my gold colored thread. So these on staying close to the edges. Back is done for now. I still wanna do a little something at the bottom later. And I'm going to start working on the front. Okay, I have a whole little pile of goodies to go on the front. I have this sort of ecru colored doily I want to put off to the left side here, so I'm just going to cut it out to shape. And pin it on. And when I'm done pinning, I will take it to my machine. And I won't take you with me every time to the machine now, because I have a lot of little things to sew on. I will just go around the edges with my largest zigzag stitch gold colored thread. Now I'm pinning on a little strip that looks like this. I cut it at an angle so it would 
fit around the collar. Now that is from another pillow cover right here. And just assume from here on out, I'll be using a straight stitch unless I tell you differently. Now I have a strip of fabric that looks like that. I'm going to put that up by the collar next to the buttons. And the same fabric I'm going to put just below that. And then I cut a flower out of the pillow cover like that. And I am going to put that right there. Now I'm going to pin these on and then I'll sew these two strips at the same time, basically. Now I have a larger stem of roses cut from that tulle fabric. And I'm going to place it over top of the doily. Okay, I have it where I want it. Going to get it pinned and sewn. All right, so now I have this little piece of fringe cut from a scarf that I used on some other project. I'm going to line it right next to this piece of fabric with the fringe facing towards the buttons, overlap it slightly, and I will use a zigzag stitch on this since it's so tattery. And then I have a piece of a scarf. I'm going to lay it about right there next to the other side of that fabric. A little flower cut from the pillow covers. I'll put that right there. I might overlap. And then I have a butterfly. I'm going to angle that and put it, well, maybe I'll slide that up a little bit. Put the butterfly right there. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. Fun, fun. Now I'm going to add some fringe at the bottom and I'm using, this is the scarf where I cut a little chunk out to put on the vest, but I'm going to use the fringe on both ends for the bottom of the vest. Now I'm just going to cut this off about half an inch to three quarters of an inch above the fringe. And I'm just simply going to sew it along the bottom. I'll start with one. Now this stretches a little. I'll have to stretch it a little so that I have enough. But I'll start at the corner here, overlap about half an inch, use a zigzag stitch, and sew all the way around. And when I run out of this one, I'll just take this other piece, overlap it about three quarters of an inch, and continue sewing. Now, last thing I want to sew is I have another piece of tassel trim cut from a different scarf. And I am just going to overlap this slightly where I sewed. And again, with a zigzag stitch, I'm going to sew all the way across the bottom. Okay, all done sewing. Now I'm going to go wash and dry it on normal settings and let the washer and dryer do its magic and get everything nice and frayed and tattered. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, real quick, I just wanted to show you that to the right, I added another piece of lace and another rose applique. Okay, how fun is this? I have it with a white sort of boho dress. I have a tutorial for this. The link is in my description. I have some platform combat boots to give it a little edge, stack of necklaces and bracelets. So there are so many ways to wear jean vests. If you just go to Pinterest and search jean vest outfits you can wear it with denim and skirts so many different things great for a festival and you know this is one style sort of boho but you could do the same thing in sort of a shabby chic look with a real pale denim and floral fabrics and 
pink floral appliques, white lace, birds. You could do it more edgy, maybe do a concert from a concert t-shirt. Do that applique on the back with some black lace, maybe some leather fringe, silver, vintage buttons. Just have fun and make it you. I am going to bring it a little close, bring it in a little closer so that you can see more of the details. And I thank you so, so much for watching.